So, Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Justin Gaethje has been announced. Khabib has said he's going to fight two more times. He's going to fulfill his dad's wishes and go 30-0. That's his target. He's got the biggest hurdle I think most I think most people would agree with in Justin Gaethje. It's going to be his toughest fight for sure. They're both 31 years old. Khabib is 28-0. For those who don't know Khabib, I don't know where you've been. Justin Gaethje has two losses on his record. I believe he's 21-2. and two. I think it's 21. It might be off. Maybe we should have researched that before I went live. The two losses are to Dustin Poirier, in which he... And Eddie Alvarez, in which they're very, very similar fights. It's a very slug and rock and sock and robot fight. And I think that those two losses taught him, look, I am the most entertaining fighter. I know I'm the most entertaining fighter, but I don't need to do that. It's not the smart approach. And he kind of caved into the thing of, all right, I'm going to fight a bit more smart, which is exactly what he did against Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson, that fight was perfect. He... Battered and bruised Tony. He took some hits. He did. But Tony basically took a four and a half round beating off of Justin. He was on point. Yeah, gr- granted, Tony was preparing for a wrestler. He was preparing for Khabib, the cursed fight. But Justin just managed somehow to listen to Trevor Whitman. Don't take it. He said in the fir- after the first round, don't, you know, don't try and take his head off. You're trying to kill him. Just ease off. Be calculated, be composed, be the Justin I know you are. And he went out and he just was perfect. He listens to his coach and it's incredible what he does. It really is. He's absolutely superb. Which brings me... And they've also got very common opponents. They've both beaten Edson Barboza. Dustin Poirier is on that list of people they fought. Obviously, uh, Khabib actually finished Dustin. Dustin wasn't happy with his performance, but... Justin Gaethje could have beaten Dustin Poirier. He really could have if he just was smarter in his approach. Dustin kind of, you know, he was one leg kick away from falling over pretty much in that fight. And same with Eddie Al- Eddie Alvarez. You know, he he didn't look he didn't look pretty when he went, when he left that fight. So it's a super interesting fight. Gaethje is an all American wrestler, state wrestler in, and uh, he doesn't he doesn't use it ever. He never uses his wrestling. He doesn't like... I don't know if he, whether... Actually, no, that's a, that's a lie. I don't know whether he likes using it or not. But he doesn't seem to because he's, he's got, he's got as Michael Bisping would say, left of Larry all the time. He's got, he's got, his, he's got his, two, his two brothers here. And they are just so... He's so confident in his boxing skills and rightfully should be. His boxing is superb with Trevor in his corner as well. You look at what he does with Rose Nama Yunus as well and while she's got Pat Barry in her, coach, in her corner as well. It's... Uh, their hands over there are so good. He knocked out Edson against the cage in the first round. Knocked out James Vick, who's up there for all these people in the division. James Vick since then has not really done much, to be fair. Kind of talked the talk, but didn't walk. walk. Um, it's going to be a super interest, it's interesting fight to see. No one's actually tried to take Gaethje down. We know Gaethje's a good wrestler. But is he good enough to stop the best wrestler? And if he does, I think Gage is going to be have a better takedown defense record than like Conor McGregor. And it took Khabib a while to get Conor down. Conor was defending absolutely brilliantly, and Conor wasn't really prepared for that fight. He he said afterwards, "I was drinking the night before," and you do believe it when you see the difference between even his body shape in that fight, coming off a layoff of nearly three years or whatever it was, to then how he fought Cowboy. You can clearly see how it is, and you know Conor had some success on the feet. I think I think gaethje has got. He's going to get close to Khabib. He's going to squash that distance and he's going to keep it real close to make it dirty. He's going to make it a violent fight. Now, most people would side towards Khabib here, as you should. There's no, there's only ever one time in a fight he's ever looked human, and that's against Michael Johnson when he took a knee almost. And Johnson kind of went for a takedown on him, which was just, uh, I don't know why he did that. He could have, He could have got him. Khabib is going to... We know what Khabib's going to do. The question really is, is can Justin stop a takedown or does he want to stop a takedown? Can Justin hit him as he's coming in? Can he stop him against the fence? Because that's what Khabib does. He wraps you up. He, he pressures you. He uses that mauling style of... Same as Kamzat Chemaev. Just the same Russian-based squeeze of every pressure, of every limb, of his shoulder, of his hip. 
every weight distribution is perfect to just make someone feel so uncomfortable and suffocate before he's even hit you. And lately, the last two you know two fights he's had against Conor and Dustin, he's both finished. Before that, it was kind of de- he was a decision machine, which is it's okay. You know, it's his style. He doesn't take any damage and he wins fights. That's that's how he is. He mauls you. Justin's gonna want to make this a little. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if Justin's going to want to make this more fun based on how he's been fighting the last few competitions, contests, but on paper, I actually side with Justin on this. I think Justin might have him here. We might see the best Khabib of our lives since the passing of his dad, or we might see the worst. I think we're going to get the latter. I think Justin's going to come into this, and he's been so prepared for this for so long. He knew all about... Everyone knows how to fight Khabib. No one knows how to beat him. There's a big difference. I think Justin's going to have a real edge in the striking because he likes getting hit. People like Connor, he doesn't like getting hit. He gets hit by 50% shots by Diaz and it gasses him. Justin doesn't get gassed. He was in the fifth round against fresh as ever against someone like Tony Ferguson who goes on... 100-mile f- runs for fun. He's that kind of guy. He's just crazy. Are you People have seen the YouTube comments of... He's the kind of guy. Tony's the kind of guy. YouTube comments. So, my opinion, Justin Gaethje will defeat Khabib Nurmagomedov and give him a one. Make him lose that O. How many people agree with me? Probably very slim, but I think a lot of MMA diehards that watch Justin regularly and not necessarily dislike Khabib, but see holes in his game where all you have to do is is getting close and manage to prevent him picking the ankle, grabbing the single and driving you. Easier said than done, but Justin has the credentials to maybe do it and he seems so confident in doing it. I just think if he can defend it slightly better than Connor, I think his striking is going to be more imposing than the style of Connor, where Connor is a more karate long style base and he's in and out. Justin can march forward and throw those leg kicks. Those leg kicks are fucking vicious. But will Khabib? I've never seen Khabib take leg kicks or body kicks or anything like that. I've seen him get hurt once with a lucky shot, lucky shot by Michael, a quick hand. Can't say it's lucky. You knew he was throwing throwing it. Will will Khabib be able to sustain the pressure of Justin, or will it just be another grab Justin? Oh, we thought Justin's wrestling would be better than this. He ties up the legs, pushes him against the cage, and just beats his head and throws those lunch boxes into him, Brock Lesnar, Frank Mir style, you know, just rams it in. I don't think he can finish Justin Gaethje. I really don't. I really don't. If he can't finish Alec Quinta, he can't finish Justin Gaethje. There's no way. Um, I always thought he would beat Tony Ferguson in a fight. You know, we'll never probably see that fight if he's going two more. Tony's never going to get that opportunity again. It's their own fault for both pulling out all the time. But Justin Gaethje, for me, is going to be the unified title holder. He will be the lightweight champion and Khabib will lose his belt in October. That's my opinion. What's your guys? Let me know what you guys think. Be really interesting to see how much hate you get for saying Justin, <laughs> all the Khabib people out there. But let me know, guys. See you next time.